Welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks get set to take on the Dallas Baptist University Patriots. Arkansas one and one on the season, taking on DBU. Arkansas in goal tonight. It's going to be Sam Haynes against Randy Miller for the Patriots. Alongside me tonight is Corey Porter. My name is EJ Sanders. Also here with us is Rich Sanders and Matt Martins. Corey, home openers have been good for the Hogs as they are 12 and two all time in these sorts of games. And uh, we do have an interview with Coach Sims later on in this broadcast, but uh, it's mostly about getting to the puck fast. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking to him a little bit before the game, and he thought a couple weeks ago when they opened the season at Missouri State, they started slow and really just looked sluggish in that first game, ended up losing that home opener, or excuse me, that season opener, but then bounced back the second night uh, with a big win there in that second game, 8-2. to two. But they come here tonight to a packed crowd for their home opener, taking on the D. DBU Patriots, as you mentioned, as Arkansas gets set to announce their starting lineups. Well, the Hogs are sporting new uniforms tonight with the Arkansas Razorback, the trademark Arkansas Razorback on the front of their uniforms. As Griffin Sugasawara steps out onto the ice. The ACHA's second team All-American for the last two seasons in the 2018-2019 SEC MVP. Following him up is Trevor McLean, another senior. We call him the one-man penalty kill around here. Oh, absolutely. Zach Wilson out on the ice, the captain for the Arkansas Razorbacks. Cam McAtee will be one of the alternates for the team as well. Dylan Odeline, been here for five years, has only played four. And finally, Sam Haynes onto the ice. We'll pause for a couple of seconds here as you see Sam Haynes and Randy Miller on the other end. There's been a lot of change in this Arkansas lineup. Nine freshmen are on this Arkansas team. I can't remember the last time I said that. A lot of new guys. Yeah, and, and I think the biggest change is in front of that net with Joseph Dusenka being gone this year. Arkansas is going to turn to Sam Haynes as well as Grady Reese and Noah Goodwin, Goodwin as the third goaltender. As you mentioned earlier, Haynes is getting the start tonight, and we'll see how he looks. He did get uh, the win last or two weeks ago at Missouri State, and he'll look to get his second win here on the season. Well, last year, Sam Haynes was perfect, and he stays perfect this season. 7-0 last season with a 1.73 goals against average and a 9.20 through save, save percentage. On the other end is Randy Miller. He's 0-1-1 so far. He has a 4.52 goals against average and a .904 save percentage. Yeah, yeah Randy Miller is one of my favorite uh, opposing goaltenders to watch. He always uh, stands tough for his team, and hopefully they can get some goal support if you're a Patriots fan tonight. And uh, But Randy Miller is going to be backing him up and uh, making a lot of saves. Excited to see him play again tonight. Well, we get ready for puck drop, the first one of the home season for the Razorbacks, and we're glad to have you here joining us on this Friday night, the eve of a big Arkansas-Alabama game tomorrow. 
I yep. know most people who are tuning in tonight who are local are looking forward to that. When Alabama comes to town, uh, things turn up. Sugaswar to take the opening face off. It's going to be against Fabian Perez, the grad student from Fort Worth. And Arkansas wins the opening face off as Oda Line controls it, banks one off the boards into the neutral zone. It's fought for there, and McLean tries to play it back, whiffs on the pass, and now sends it near tight side to McAtee. Outlet pass stolen away in front, and right on goal is Beckett, but he gets it sticked away there by McAtee. Sorry, that was McLean on the back check, and after it now is Austin Fowler. Coming out of the net to play, it's Miller. Near side boards, Arkansas holds it in. Back at T, high slot, low shot, kick save. Rebound out front, it's knocked down into the corner. Picked up here by Arkansas, back out front, and it goes through everybody all the way down to Sam Haynes. Haynes sees his first action, paddles it aside, finds a man behind the net, that's McAtee. Far side now, skated down. McLean can't hold on to it. Sloppy play here early from the Razorbacks. Bank pass along now near side, finds Wilson. Wilson looking to work it out of the zone. It's flipped up into the air. Tipped aside there into the far side by Sean Barrett. Slapped around the boards. Hard picked up here on the near side now. Trying to skate after it there is Fata. Arkansas can't find the puck. Fata on it now. Chip pass to himself. Pass Suga Suara. Into the corner centering pass. Pass Hershey. Shot there. It's blocked down by Wilson. Played down. No high stick. Into the zone again. On it now is Fada. Fada gets checked hard into the boards there by McAtee near side corner. Arkansas trying to fish it out of there. A scrum for it, 18.43 to go here in this period. Opening period of the game, Arkansas. A little bit lazy right now as DBU has had the majority of the puck, not making clean passes. Far side now finds McAtee. Sorry, that's McLean. He fires a shot up into the net. And a minute and a half has passed. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. Yeah, that top line was out there for a minute and a half, but uh, I think Sims probably would have been yelling for him to get off sooner with the way they came out. Uh, DBU really taking it to him early, and Arkansas looking to turn that around now with their second unit. Faceoff will be to the right of Randy Miller. It's going to be Ellis to take it for the Hogs. Faceoff one by Ellis. Cruz trying to bat one into the corner. Can't get one off, and a big hit laid on there by Fada. Arkansas on it again, trying to chop it back to the point. Hershey. A converted defenseman. He's trying to play it there. Yeah, Truman Hershey played a lot of forward last year, and he steps out onto the ice this season as a defenseman. Yeah, he's out there with Cruz as well as Michael Ellis, one of the captains for this team. Face off, going to be one to the side here. Cruz back to the point, finds Hershey. Hershey bank pass back down to Cruz, hits a rut in the ice. Backhand pass in front, can't find his man. Chopping at it there, another shot on net. Rogers can't. White get it through. Far side corner now picked up there by Bratton. Bratton hard off the board, soccered along there by Hershey. Hershey trying to hold the zone, can't. Arkansas will dump. Back around the boards, picked up there by Shipley. Shipley bats one along, Arkansas on it. Now Cruz looking for a man out front. Backhanded pass, has a man trailing. A quick shot, score! That's Connor Chapman, the St. Louis, Missouri native, gets his first goal as a Razorback here in front of the home ice. And the home crowd loving it here as Arkansas takes their first lead of the night. Chapman, 5'9", 140, the business management major. Boy, didn't have him pegged for the first goal of the home season for the Hogs, but he gets one on the back end. And hopefully saves that puck. And they'll keep the same line out there with Ellis taking the draw. Ellis to take it. They'll be taking it against Marley Roos. One back here by Ellis. Book, far side now, Chapman. Chapman on the puck, just dumps it into the zone. Arkansas after it, into the corner. Ellis checks a man off of it. Fishing after it now is Rose. Centering pass, it's Chapman again, who fires a shot high. Connor Chapman all over the slot area right now, and DBU's got to do better about clearing that out. Near side now, the long time senior defenseman, John Canavan, takes it into the zone. Canavan giving chase after Yance, leaves it there, but Arkansas steals it away off of Bever's stick. Ellis on it now, has a man far side. Ellis, little stick handling move through traffic, handled there by the Patriots. Now Book, his shots fired to the far side off the glove of Chapman and into the corner. Picked up here, back the other way. Here comes DBU, dumped into the zone, hard around. That was Garcia and Haynes played it behind the net. There's gonna be a stoppage here. I think they call it an icing. We'll bring it down to the other end, to Randy Miller's right side. 
A little bit more pep in the step from that second unit for Arkansas. Well, DePaolo doesn't like the, uh, Jim DePaolo doesn't like the uh, icing call there as Haynes stepped out of the net to play that puck. It looks like the referee and linesman are discussing it. And I think they are going to take it to center ice. It's the right call after the wrong call. So we will have a center ice face off now after the errant whistle. Arkansas to take it here to Ian Lotz. Lotz had three points last season. Face off one back here. It's going to be picked up by Book. Book on the puck. Fires a pass across far side. Now chipped into the zone, and Arkansas is after it. That was Gifford. Gifford on the puck. Chips one over the net. Comes to the near side now. Book pinching down from his D spot, looking to corral the puck. Comes out of the zone, sauces along back into the Arkansas zone now. It's recovered there by Arkansas. Off a stick of Gifford. Gifford not able to control it as Arkansas comes away with it again. Yachts, a pass off, has his man. That's Edistrand, and that's a shot, but he was offside, far side. That was Lotz. 16-29 to go in the first. A lot of action on both ends of the ice. Arkansas a little soft coming out early. We haven't seen that top line since. They did get the early goal on Randy Miller, and he's a tall order to score on. As Odeline just takes a guy down into the zone now. Edistrand on the puck for Arkansas. Edistrand back to McAtee. Nice little twirly move in the corner. McAtee stick handles through traffic and then loses control of the puck. He's going to have to regroup back behind his own goal line again. 16-11 to go in the first period. Edistrand out the pass far side. Has a man Gifford. Gifford into the zone, has Lotz on his far side. Backhand pass, finds Lotz. Lotz can't quite shuffle it through the traffic. It's picked up here again by Gifford, who gets upended. No call there. I think a good no call. This one's taken away now, and here comes TBU, and there's going to be a call now on Arkansas. Once they get control of the puck into the zone, though, that's Barrett. Barrett on the puck. Sorry, that's Beckett. Beckett sends one along to the near side now. Bratton's not going to be able to control it, and Arkansas is going to have a penalty. I think they're going to take Odeline, who's still... Tangled up. DBU also sporting some new uniforms this year. I think those look sharp as well. A couple of teams with new looks. DBU kind of going back with a little bit of the same, but if you've seen their white uniforms, they, those, those look sharp. So they posted those on social media. A yeah, good early opportunity here for the Patriots. Gonna be a power play, Edistrand going to the box. His second penalty of the season. A London, Ontario, Canada native. This one's one to the side, Arkansas looking to shuffle it up the boards. Gonna be corralled here by DBU and that one goes up and out of play. They do call it and blow it dead. 15.37 to go, first period, first power play for DBU. First penalty kill for Arkansas. Arkansas did give up a couple power play goals in their series opener with Missouri State a couple weeks ago. And their conference game, too. It's a tough loss. Their first loss in the MACA conference. Sent down the ice there by McAtee, going after it all the way around the boards. That's going to be Bratton. Bratton settles it down behind the net off the stick of Miller. Bratton. On the puck, looking for an outlet pass. Has a man far side, that's Garcia. Garcia into the offensive zone. Stick handles around one, and gets up and in. All right, that was Michael Fata. Dylan Odeline on the delivering side of that hit. Nice hit there, Derek Bratton. Drop pass here. That's Rose. Rose far side, into the zone, and with a little less speed now is Fata. Fata. Down below the goal line, centering pass back out front there. Shot is saved aside there by Odeline. Nice job kicking it to the corner. Another shot there by Rose is stolen away. And here comes Arkansas, but off the stick of McAtee, this one comes up and out of play. Couple of shots there by DBU. They got blocked aside. Still 2-1 to one Arkansas in the shot column by my count, which has been known to be spotty, but that's all right. We'll try to... Sync it up with our statistician, Rich Sanders, over here. Face off to the right of Haynes. Back to the points. Going to be picked up here by Fowler. Fowler, far side, has his man there. Settling it down to Canavan. Back to Fowler. Fowler 
Pass down into the corner. It's going to be picked up there by Beckett. Beckett looking near side, has a man. Beckett open in the corner from Barrett. Beckett to Barrett. Shut down there. Nice job on defense by Rogers. And Arkansas is going to go to the box again. Truman Hershey. Yeah, just got a little bit cross too back. rough in front. I was getting ready to praise Gifford for his defensive play in front, tying the man up, throwing DBU off of their power play, but he cycled out. In came Hershey, and uh, into the box he goes. So we'll have a five-on-three advantage for the Patriots for the next 43 seconds, barring uh, a goal. Well, Arkansas, some key losses on this Arkansas team. Joseph Dusanka, the goaltender, for a long time here, the winningest goaltender in Arkansas history. Brad Estrada, a top-line winger, and Jordan Deskier. None more felt than Deskier right now. You really wish you had that experienced defenseman on the back end for this power court. On it now. Down into the zone. That's Fowler. Fowler wheels one down low. Centering pass stolen away by Sugasuara. Slaps at it towards the corner. Hits the boards. Stays in the zone, though. Canavan loads one up in the slot. Shoots and scores. And they'll still have a power play after that. John Canavan knocks one home. And we have a tie game. Sloppy play from the Razorbacks early court. Yeah, you really can't do that to yourself. You got two guys sitting in the box, and uh, you know that happens. A five on three, if they don't score, it's a miracle. And uh, this one uh, comes back to bite Arkansas. They, they tie the game up, and Arkansas is still going to be on the penalty kill for another minute 44. So a lot of work left in front of them and a good opportunity for the Patriots to really try to capitalize on Arkansas's mistakes. Well, rarely do you see an unassisted power play goal, but you just saw one there off the stick of Sugasawara hit. The stanchion over there by the Arkansas bench and able to capitalize was Canavan. Hard around the boards near side now. Arkansas looking to break out. Cruz just lets it go to the neutral zone. It's settled down here by the captain, Canavan. Canavan on the puck again. Canavan, stick handling, left-handed stick, comes up the near side, now his strong side. A huge hit laid on by Kyle Cruz, and Yance is after it in the corner. He's got a man in his hip pocket, and it's sent all the way down. Onside is Cruz. Cruz is the only one on the puck hit here in the corner. Minute 11 to go in the power play for Arkansas. Cruz centering pass, comes out front. Ellis' shot is weak. Rebounds there, and it comes fluttering high. Stays in play. It's picked up here by Perez. He'll work it towards the zone, and this one does find its way out of play. A huge hit in the corner again by Kyle Cruz, and he's turned up the physicality. The junior from St. Louis. You know, there was a time where all these guys were from Texas, and now they're all from the St. Louis area. Yeah, a good hockey in Texas, and as well as St. Louis, and Arkansas tries to pick up everything in between, and I think they've done so over the years. Lots to take the face off for Arkansas. Serving a penalty still is Truman Hershey. Halfway through it, 59 seconds left on that, 13.25 to go in the first, a 1-1 game. Face off one back, quick shot by Edistrand to save the side, picked up there behind the net. Looking to work it out is Brat. Bratton on the puck, stick handling, move around one, right hand to stick, sends one near side now, bounces off the boards, just offside was the offender for DBU. Centering pass now into the zone, a quick shot is stocked off the stick, another shot there, saved down by his own man, another shot is saved. Nice save there. This one sent to the far side, and Edistrand can't chase it down. He's got to have a skate race to the puck there with Bratton, along with Rose. Rose, outlet pass. Can't find his man, still on side as Arkansas. They'll shoot one in, 20 seconds to go here on the power play. 12.43 to go in the period. It's picked up near side, DBU looks to work it out of the zone. The Patriots chop at it into the zone and McAtee's on it. Big slapper around the boards, hits a man on the near side and holding the line there is DBU. Back behind the net again. This one's shuffled to the point and can't hold it in there is Rose. Arkansas is back to five-on-five five action. This one's flipped on net, and Haynes just saves it down. He'll shuffle it along. Picked up here by Odeline. Little pass across, finds McAtee, tries to work it out of the zone, has a man far side. It's worked along now. Here's Sugasuara into the zone, leaves it for McAtee, fires a shot. That one's blocked in front. Nice job blocking the puck there by Shipley. Arkansas on it again. McAtee looking back post. Another block in front. This one sent back to the point. Now Odeline loads one up. Can't get it through the traffic. And they have men the other way, but Odeline does a good job of just dumping it into the zone. Wilson, quick pass. Finds McLean. Quick shot there. Wilson trying to stuff at it there. And it does find its way past. They were raising the sticks as if they scored. 
Yeah, the crowd behind the net thinks so too, but they may be reacting to the Arkansas players celebrating. They're going to say no goal. 11.44 to go in the first. Good pressure by Arkansas as uh, they wrapped it around there and just really tried to bury it home with a couple slaps at it. But good job by Randy Miller as well, staying in position. Bank pass off the boards to himself. McLean can't control it. Pressuring the puck there was Beckett. Another shot there by McLean is saved down by Miller. Well, Trevor McLean on the top line for Arkansas, taking the place of Brad Estrada. Yeah, I, I like that move. I think McLean's played near the top line quite a bit. Last year, um, not so much, but moving him back up, showing what he can do. We know what he can do on the penalty kill, and let's see how he gels with Wilson and Sugasawara. Well, they're easy guys to gel with, I'll tell you that much. Quick shot there by McAtee is sticked aside by Miller, picked up here by Wilson. Wilson has a man at the point, McAtee. You'll see these guys work together quite a bit. McAtee leaves it for Wilson. Wilson, cross-ice pass, finds McLean. McLean throws a shot towards net. It's batted aside. Arkansas holds the line. Here's McAtee, three on two into the zone, four on two. Quick shot off the post. Wilson couldn't bury it. Tried to shuffle it back to the point there was McLean. 11.08 to go in the first. Out of the zone now, on it, there's Beckett. He'll just knock one, end over end into the zone, and now McAtee's on it. McAtee, bank pass along, looking for anybody on the puck. Finds himself, finds Wilson now near side. Cross the red line, blue line, offensive zone. Wilson, outer hash, fires a shot, and Randy Miller left an opening there. You could see it from our angle, but he does a nice job of gloving it down. Arkansas turning up the intensity as we get near the midway point of this first period, still tied at one. DBU able to get the power play goal to get on the board and tie it up with the Hogs. Base off will be to the left of Miller. Patterson to take it for Arkansas. He'll win this one to Borlas. Borlas trying to jam it along. Arkansas holds the line. Rogers loads up a slapper and a nice reaching across glove save. Those can get dangerous and get away from you quickly, but a good save there by Miller. Yeah, it does a good job of rebound control as well, which... Uh, that's what you want out of a goaltender, and it makes it easy on the defenders in front of him, but they're going to want to try to get this puck out of the zone. He's seeing a lot of shots here lately. Scherer back, finds Rodgers. Rodgers cross-ice pass looking for Hershey. Hershey, Borlas, back to Hershey. Quick shot saved again by Miller. Able to see it through the traffic. He's only listed at 5'9", 155, but it looks like he takes up a lot more of the net than that. He's got to be wearing some big pads then. He looks like a big boy down there. Face off to the right of Miller. Going to be one back here by Arkansas, only momentarily stolen away there by Mitchell DeShazer. He'll send it down the ice, and that will be an ice. A lot of newcomers on the other side as well. Nine underclassmen for the DBU Patriots, along with their 11 upperclassmen. Arkansas on the other hand, 14 and 14, an even split of lower and upperclassmen. That includes grad students for Arkansas. They do have a couple of those as well, Cam McAtee being one along with Zach Wilson. Face off here by Patterson tied up in the circle to the left of Miller. Coming away with it, Patterson tries to knock it back to the point, but it's finally cleared out of the zone by the Patriots. In the neutral zone now, the puck is up for grabs and finally taken away into the zone. That was fun, but it's taken off of his stick and Patterson finds a man up the ice. That's Borlas. Borlas couldn't hold on to it though. Just went off the heel of his stick. Arkansas dumps back in they're after it again. 10 minutes to go in the first. We cross the halfway mark of the period. Down in the near side corner, it's going to be picked up here by DBU. Bratton on the puck, loses control of it, picked up here by Arkansas. Stick handling through traffic, Sharer's shot is fired. Takes a weird bounce off the board. Borlas back out front looking for Patterson, it's caught in the skates. And that one's cleared all the way down the ice. This got caught up in the skates there, not able to control it, and Arkansas regroups. Tipped into the zone nicely there by Rogers. Just past the line. Oh, I seen Canavan on the puck now for DBU. Looking to work it out of the zone. Banked off the boards. Finds his way past an Arkansas player. After it there is Yance. Early whistle, but Yance was going to be the first one to it. 9.21 to go in the first. Yeah, sometimes it feels like all DBU can do is ice it to try to get them a little bit of rest as they do it once again there. But Arkansas is also uh, leading in the faceoff column by quite a bit as well. And... Uh, that's contributing to a lot of this offensive zone time. They get those face-offs off the icing. Ellis wins this face-off ahead. Centering pass, looking for Cruz. Couldn't quite find him. 
Now Rose out of the zone. Rose, bank pass, looking for Bevers. Bevers down in the corner, left-handed stick, loses control of it as Book controls it for Arkansas. Tyler Book, the freshman from, guess where, St. Louis, was on the puck. Outlet pass, looking for Ellis. Ellis, stick handling, move around one, works it into the zones. Picked up there by Chapman. Cruz loses control into the corner. The puck is underneath him as they're trying to scramble after it. 8.53 to go in the period. Book holds the line, knocks one to the shoe of Canavan, and it finds its way out of the zone. Arkansas on it, near side now, that's Book. Book looking to work it out of the zone, finds Ellis, Ellis into the offensive zone. Ellis on his backhand, gonna fire one towards net and high. That's a lot of power for a backhand. Book on it now, Book to Ellis. Ellis looking to load one up again. High slot, fires one through, traffic glove down again by Miller reaching across his body. It's not gonna work all game, he's gotta be careful. Yeah, he's already had 13 shots thrown at him, made 12 saves here, and we're just over halfway through this first period. Um, it's a wonder Arkansas doesn't have more goals, but we talked about it at the top of the broadcast. Randy Miller's no joke. We love watching him come in here and play, and Arkansas has their work cut out for him. Absolutely. Face off one back. Arkansas loses control of it momentarily. A quick shot there by Anna Strand goes wide. Tipped wide, it's picked up here by Gifford. Gifford on the puck. Jason Gifford centering pass. Arkansas scrambling after it again is covered up there by Miller. A little bit of extra chippiness, and Edis Strand's getting after him. And they may take him again. Matthew Edis Strand, no stranger to the penalty box already. His grandfather, Daryl Edis Strand, played for the Boston Bruins. And I bet if you look up Daryl Edis Strand highlights, you know what you'll find. Yeah, must run in the family there. Edis Strand sitting down for his second penalty of the, penalty of the night. DBU's goal did come on the power play, albeit a five on three, but it did start, or it made it the five on three on Edistrand's penalty. And another good chance here for the Patriots. Face off to the right of Haynes, another power play. Coach Falls and Coach Sims over there gotta be beside themselves with all the chances they're giving up to DBU as Arkansas. Might be another five on three. I think it's gonna be a four on four. All right. Going to the box is going to be Fabian Perez, I think. Nope, they're going to take Sean Barrett, and that's a good guy to take off the ice. Yeah. If you're an Arkansas fan, you like to see nine going to the box. Two goals, two assists, four points already this year, but 20 goals, 31 assists, 51 points in his 50-game career. So a and, point per and game that's player. A, and that's a big error for that caliber of player. Four seconds into the power play, gets a hooking call in front of the net. And now we're going to have four on four. And Arkansas with an offensive zone faceoff, and once again they've dominated in the faceoff circle thus far tonight. Faceoff one back here, McAtee at the high slot. He'll fire one through traffic, rebound comes out front, not able to corral it there was McLean. McLean on the ice with Wilson and Sugasawara, just like their top line, along with McAtee, the All-American, the three-time first-team All-American Cam McAtee. Boy, we can't speak enough about this guy. I know we talk about him a lot, but. Cam McAtee is, uh, is something special for Arkansas. Yeah, it's, a, it's great to have him back this year. And he was even uh, Rookie of the Year for the WCHL for Division I when Arkansas had a Division I team. And uh, he's just played at that level the entire time he's been here at Arkansas. And uh, a true two-way player at the point for the Hogs. McAtee on the puck right now. Backhand pass near side now. Arkansas with the puck. Sugasawara on it. Far side looking for McAtee streaking towards the net. He's going to backhand one back along. Looks for a pick there from Wilson. McAtee on it. Makes a pass. Now leaves it here. Sugasawara in the high circle. Works for some space. A quick shot there. Screening in front. McLean comes bouncing out front. And Arkansas is not able to control it. Back the other way is DBU. That was Fowler. He'll send one off there for Beckett, who fires a shot high and wide. Comes back to the near side, trying to shovel it back into the zone. But Arkansas shovels it ahead. That's McAtee on it. Fires a shot well wide of the net. Just a miscue there. I think it got up on an edge. On it now are the Patriots. They'll send it back to neutral ice. 57 seconds left in Arkansas's penalty and only a few more in DBU's. Undressing a man there, Sugasawara, back below the goal line. Now he'll pick it up. Leaves the pass there. McLean back to the point, finds McAtee. McAtee on the puck, has Sugasawara far side. Fans on the pass, and after it now are Michael Fada. Michael Fada on it, fires and scores, and just like that. Damn, McAtee breaks his stick in frustration. A turnover leads to a goal, and Sam Haynes not able to shut down that pressure. 
Yeah, no sooner do we praise McAtee does he make a mistake at the blue line and Fada was able to absorb a hit for McAtee in the neutral zone as he tried to regain control of that puck but unable to do so and Fada puts DBU, DBU up two to one. Well, Dallas Baptist has only scored more than two goals against the Arkansas Razorbacks one time. So we'll see if Arkansas can rebound. Yeah, they'll Dallas have to pick Baptist it up on can, defense. Yeah. That was only the fourth shot that Sam Haynes has faced tonight. Two of them have gone in. 16 to four in the shot column, but the only one that matters is two to one on the scoreboard. Laid at, laying out a man there is Fada. Fada having himself an excellent shift here as he continues to be on the ice. Arkansas trying to poke one along. Canavan on it now. Cruz gets tripped up a little bit there. Odeline on it now. Odeline on his forehand. Looking for a man far side. Outlet pass finds Ellis. Ellis into the offensive zone. Ellis working it along. Gets stick checked off the puck. Goes to the far side. Now Hershey. Hershey gets sticked off the puck. Arkansas sloppy in the offensive zone right now on this four on four. Ellis, a nice stick handling move around one. Gets shut down there by Garcia. Into the corner now, picked up there by Fowler. Fowler shovels one back to center ice. Picked up by Book. Book for Arkansas. Far side now. Cruz boots it along. He's just now back on the ice. Sent back down into the corner. Picked up here by Cruz. Cruz out the far side. Works one far side, Lotz has space. As a man tripped over his own man, Lotz into the zone, fires a shot, rebound was there, and nobody there to clean it up. Ellis, I don't think, saw the rebound come kicking out to the slot area as he turned away from the goal right as that puck was coming right to him. Yeah, good save by Miller. Left the rebound right out in front and looked like Harris for the Patriots kind of chipped it back towards the net. He and Miller was able to cover that one up. I'm not sure if that was just a, a mistake, kind of a reaction move, or if he was trying to get the cover on it, but a dangerous play there for the Patriots. But once again, a good save by Miller. Quick shot off the suing face off, out of play. 5.45 to go, first period. Arkansas again dominating in the shot column, but it's not the number that matters right now, and I'm sure that's uh, exactly what the message will be in the locker room. Yeah, we're getting some claims of Miller being the best goalie in the league, and that's hard to argue with right now. Motor to take the face off for Arkansas. Well, just as I say that. Oh, they call him back in. Okay, Motor to take the face off. And we'll try again. Arkansas does win it back. That's McAtee. He'll chip one back along. It's picked up here by Perez for DBU. Tries to get it out of the zone the far side, but Arkansas holds it in. Book shot through traffic's blocked down. It's banked off the board's far side. Barrett not able to get it out of the zone. Pinching down there was Yance. Yance leaves it. And DBU recontrols. On it against Barrett. Barrett gets pinched there by Book. Book. Lots in the corner along with Gifford. Lots comes away with it. Comes rattling through traffic. As Lots is holding his own in the crease. Had a couple of guys to fend off there, but the puck finds its way harmlessly to Randy Miller, and we'll have another stoppage. Yeah, we've had a couple penalties called on the action in front of the net, so both teams having to be careful with that. Lots. Little extracurricular there, but no call. Base off will be to the left of Miller. DBU looking for their first win on the season. Rogers fires one blocker save to the far side. Borlas trying to lift the stick of his man. Hershey chips one back along for Borlas. Arkansas on it again, back in their own zone. It's going to be picked up here by Rogers. Rogers outlet pass, looking for Scherer. He took the most of that hit, but is able to stay on his skates. Scherer just bowling his way through traffic. Now Borlas on it. Borlas stopping move behind the net. Centering pass out front. Shot there by Patterson. Goes high and wide. I think it was sticked away by Miller. 4.50 to go in the first. I'll tell you, Trevor Borlas has some of the best hands on this team. If you get him in some space working that puck, he's going to make some magic happen. He's going to make some guys miss. Excellent move behind the net. A great pass out in front led to that shot, but Miller with a stick save, and that one goes up and out of play. Conversely, Jake Scherer, 6'3", 200 pounds, just a bowling ball through traffic on that play to get it into the zone. Hard around the boards there by Fowler. Fowler sends it near side there, pinching down for its Rodgers. Has a man far side, that's Borlas. Borlas able to stop it and keep it in the zone. Borlas, a couple of shuffling moves there, not able to hold on to the puck, sends it back to Rodgers. Rodgers looking for a man, not able to hold on to it though, and here come the Patriots. Chip pass ahead and in clean again. Another shot is scored. 
My goodness. Arkansas falling apart on the back end. And again, it's Michael Fata. Really just not doing their goalie, Sam Haynes, any favors. The first goal was a power play goal. And then we've had two defensive breakdowns that have led to breakaways. And Haynes is just not much he can do on that shot. An excellent shot just beats him. And that's it. And just like that, DBU has a two goal lead. This will be the second time that Dallas Baptist has cleared the two goal margin and Arkansas is gonna have to fight back in this game. We know they have it in them. Odeline on it. But right now, Dallas Baptist has looked like the much better team. McAtee hard around the boards, far side. Now it's gonna be picked up here by McLean. They're at least capitalizing on opportunities. I won't say they look like the better team just yet, but they've capitalized on all three breaks that they've gotten. Yeah, that, it's, it's hard to say that when the shots are 18 to five and like I said, Haynes hasn't had a whole lot of favors done for him. He's faced five shots. Three of them have gone in, but Arkansas has got to do a better job defensively. I think they're overextending a little bit on offense, led to two of those breakaways, uh, two of those goals. So they'll have to shore that up a little bit and try to get some pucks past Randy Miller, which has proven to be tough so far tonight. McAtee. Back to the point now, McLean through traffic, fires a shot, rebound comes out front. Arkansas try to center it to Sugasawara, who's all alone in front of the net, trying to scramble back. Miller back to the point now, McAtee. McAtee sends one down along, Wilson fires a shot, it's tipped high. Far side now, Beckett, and a nice little soccer move there by Barrett into the zone. Arkansas on it first. Arkansas able to hold on to it, that's McAtee. McAtee to Wilson near side, looking to break out. Wilson. Little shuttle pass to the far side, not able to find his man and clearing the zones, DBU. Beckett on it, it's pinned along the boards, now Beckett on the puck. Beckett fires a shot, nice blocker save, trying to sweep it aside there was Wilson. Down into the corner. And that's offside. I was gonna say, this puck cleared the line on this side and a late clearance by Beckett causes the offside. 3.18 to go in the first and it's all Dallas Baptist. Yeah, and they're going to catch another break here as this face-off comes just outside the Arkansas zone. You can make a case for an intentional offside on that as well, but we'll stay where we are. Ellis to take it. Going to win it back. Arkansas dominating the face-offs, dominating the shots, and getting dominated on the scoreboard. Stolen away in the zone again. Harris on it now. Arkansas trying to get it away. It comes out free and a nice kick save there by Haynes. I think he needed that one. I think that'll boost his confidence a little bit as this one comes bounding to center ice, picked up here by Chapman. Chapman, nice stick handling move once, but couldn't do it twice. Near side now, Book. Book loading one up, fires it high and wide, comes right at the pane of glass. As this one comes through traffic again, no save needed to be made again. Good traffic in front by DBU. Cruz lays a hit on his man in the corner. Cruz gets upended, and that's going to be a penalty on, I believe, Dallas Baptist. Unless that puck went up and out of play. Hard to tell what happened there. Yeah, it looks like the puck just went up and out of play. Faceoff will be to the right of Miller. 2.37 to go first period. Miller's done well here in this first period. Arkansas fires a shot through traffic, tip down, rebounds there. Cruz not able to tuck it home. Back to the point, now stolen away by the Patriots into the neutral zone. Back the other way, they'll fire a shot just offside. Nope. Just offside, I believe, was Brock Mankin. Yep, that looks to be the call. Now Arkansas, two goal deficit. Well, to take the face off as two goal scorer, freshman Michael Fada. He loses this one, but Arkansas able to lift one into the air, back down the ice, fielding that there in center field's Logan Shipley. Sends one near side now as Book knocks it back into the zone. Another whistle. I think another offside call. 2.14 to go in the first. Boy, the last five minutes of this period dragging on. Yeah, it's slowed down quite a bit. Lots to take the face off for Arkansas. It's one back there, finally by Fott. This one comes all the way down, and we'll have another icing. Everybody getting a breather? Well, it's the linesman's first game as well. 
We'll give everybody a break here. Just all trying to get back into the groove of things. I know we are. Rich, any updates? Yes, Dallas Baptist three, Arkansas one, and they're losing every other statistic. All right, near side now. It's going to be picked up here by Mankin. Mankin gets knocked off the puck there by Arkansas, and on the puck now is Lots. Lots gets to his forehand, not able to send that pass across. Had a man on the back post. That was Motor. He's back out towards the point. It's going to be settled down here by Mankin. Mankin trying to clear the zone. He gets stood up by Gifford. Lots comes away with it. Low shot there, saved. Gifford on it again. High circle, whiffs on the pass there. Whiffs on the shot, I should say. Gifford now along the boards, rattles along the blue pan there, and just too late on it. Patterson was waiting in the slot, and the call never came. Scherer on the puck. Drop pass there, dangerous. McAtee able to corral the puck. Arkansas comes away with it. Bank pass stays in the zone. Nice job holding it in there at the line by Canavan. Veteran play. Arkansas trying to open the can and get that puck out. McAtee on it. Near side, sauces one. Bounces off the boards into the neutral zone. Settled down here by Fowler. 23 seconds to go in the period. Picked up here by Yance. Yance on the puck. Backhand pass finds McAtee. Arkansas going to press for a goal here at the end of the period. Borless into the zone. 13 seconds to go in the period. Canavan after. Canavan sends it hard around the boards. McAtee can't hold it in. It comes tipped down the ice. Six seconds to go in the period. And they're going to blow it dead for an icing. Arkansas with one more opportunity. And with the way they've been winning faceoffs, it might be a good one. Yeah, at least try to get a shot away, try to get something past Miller. They were able to get that early goal, but uh, nothing since then. I got him at 20 shots, so Miller's played excellent. Arkansas hasn't had a lot of quality chances, and I think the, the Patriots have, and they've really capitalized on those chances as they lead this game 3-1. to one. This faceoff is won by Perez, and it's going to be sent down the ice by Beckett on goal. Three to one is your score at the end of one period in Arkansas. Thoroughly dominated on the scoreboard. Yeah, on the scoreboard, and, and as Rich said, every other category really goes to Arkansas, and I, I think time of possession is another one we're not keeping track of, but I think I'd give that to Arkansas as well. Uh, leading the shots 20 to eight, and really playing well on offense, I think. It's just Randy Miller on the other end is making a lot of great saves. He's not giving up a lot of rebounds, and the, the players out in front of Miller are doing a good job of clearing it out uh, when there is a rebound. So it's really the defensive side that Arkansas is struggling with. They've had two turnovers at the, the blue line of the Patriots and it's led to breakaways for Fada and uh, he's got quite a wrister on him. He's getting in close and he's beat Sam Haynes twice and the other goal was a power play goal and a five on three so Arkansas not doing uh, their, their new goaltender any favors as Haynes looks to try to become that, that new starter as we uh, talked about earlier. Joseph Desenka gone this year, a stalwart in net for the, the Hogs for a long time and really trying to figure out what they have in Haynes as well with Grady Reese and Noah Goodwin waiting there as well. But Arkansas has got some work to do to try to turn it around and get back into this game. Well, Connor Chapman opened the scoring for Arkansas, and ever since then it's been all DBU Patriots. Three straight goals and all of them really not challenged by the Arkansas Razorbacks. That first bad break just takes a weird bounce off a of stanchion, finds the stick of Canavan, and he finds the back of the net, and really it's opened up since then. Michael Fada has found his way behind the defense twice and has made the most of his opportunities. Well, we'll be back in about 14 minutes for the start of the second period. In the meantime, we will have an interview at some point that we recorded before the game with Coach Keller Sims. Uh, but don't go anywhere. Three to one's your score. DBU leads it.
All right, we're here with Hogs head coach Keller Sims. Keller, it's the home opener tonight. Are you excited? Definitely. It's always good to, uh, to get the season going and um, you know have a, a great atmosphere like we have tonight. It looks like the building's filling up, so ready to get going. All right, yeah, and you guys opened uh, the, se the season on the road with Missouri State, dropped the first one, the conference game. Uh, how did your guys respond on that Saturday night game? Yeah, that was a disappointing start to the season for us. Um, I can't, that was the first time since I've been here that we lost the season opener. And, you know, the guys the guys took it personally. Uh, we had a really good film session the next day, and we came out you know, ready to go and took care of business on Saturday night. New uniforms, looking fresh out there, Coach. Uh, are you guys excited about the new uniforms? I think so. I mean, <laughs> I think they look really good. Uh, finally have the hog on the front. And, you know, look good, play good, so hopefully that's the story tonight. Yeah, absolutely. 16-0 against these Dallas Baptist University Patriots. We're going to make it 17-18 and 18 this weekend. Uh, what, what's the game plan going into this game? Uh, just be hard to play against. That's something that we coach. Um, you know, take away time and space, be hard to play against, and, and you know, outwork your opponent every night. doesn't matter who it is. Uh, that's, that's our game plan, and it's no different uh, for this home opener. All right. Well, thank you so much, Coach. Have a good one. Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks currently trail the Dallas Baptist University Patriots by a score of 3-1. to one. Alongside me is Matt Martins, Corey Porter, Rich Sanders. My name's E.J. Sanders. Well, not the start you're looking for if you're Arkansas as they head into the long change period. No, definitely not. Uh, they look pretty good on offense, uh, pretty bad on defense. Some lapses uh, at times, and DBU took advantage of it. And uh, they it shows on the scoreboard. They're trailing in probably every other stat category, uh, but the one that matters is 3-1, to one, and a big reason for that. We talked about them all night so far. Randy Miller, the goaltender uh, for the Patriots, has looked excellent, as he always does. And on the other side, uh, Sam Haynes really gave up, I think, three goals on the first five shots that he faced. Uh, a lot of that was due to his defense in front of him uh, not really helping him out and one of them due to a five on three but uh, you got to stay out of the box and you got to play better defense as uh, the Patriots have really taken advantage two goals uh, from Michael Fada on the power play or excuse me on the breakaway uh, really just excellent shots powering his way through Cam McAtee on one of them and uh, he's looked good so far yeah Rich will you take us through the goal scores of that last period 
That was Chapman for Arkansas with an assist from Cruz. I believe there was a second assist on it, did not hear it announced. And there were two unassisted goals for Dallas Baptist. Kahneman at 5.50 and then Fada at 13.08. Fada got a second goal on a beautiful assist for Dallas Baptist. And the Patriots lead at 3-1. to one. Thank you so much, Rich. As we start the second period, Arkansas not able to control the opening faceoff of the period. Into the zone, Arkansas on it quickly though. That's McLean now to Wilson. Wilson on the far side, shut down there by Barrett. Barrett gets turned away by Sugasawara and Wilson shot there, saved just barely by Miller. Caught the top of his pad, another shot by McLean dribbles towards the net and is steered aside there by DBU. They keep it alive in the zone. No face off, far side now. The shot there, shut down by Miller. Picked up here by Barrett, he can't clear the, clear the zone. Near side now, Sugasawara through traffic, shoots one and it's stopped again by Miller. Miller is standing on his head right now tonight. Arkansas not making it too difficult, but he's had to make a lot of saves. Now Beckett ahead. Beckett has Barrett with him. Beckett works one into the zone. It's held in here by McAtee. They're going to blow it dead for an offside. 19-12 to go, second period, and the urgency's there from Arkansas. Yeah, fast start for the Hogs. Three quick shots, good saves by Miller. A couple rebounds bounced out in front of him, but a good job by the Patriots to clear those away. But Arkansas really has looked okay on offense, haven't put a lot past the goaltender, haven't got a lot of quality shots, but they are peppering him with shots, and they'll look to continue to do so. Arkansas wins it back. It's going to be picked up here out of the zone. Rodgers to Cruz. Cruz works one along to himself into the corner, picked up there by Bratton. Bratton works it along near side now. It's going to be picked back up here by Arkansas. Fans find their ways back to their seats. Arkansas on it again. Patriots. On the puck now at neutral ice, and out of the zone comes Fada. Two goals scored tonight, looking for a, his first career hat trick, I would assume. His first year playing at DBU. Sent to the near side, banked off the boards, looking for his man Chapman. Chapman into the neutral zone. Cruz has a head of steam. It's one on two, though. Cruz trying to load one up, makes a stick handling move instead. Looking for a centering pass, gets shut down in the corner nicely, but comes away with the puck. Now Cruz on it again, out to the slot area. Can't come away with it. Arkansas just bats it back into the zone. That was Hershey. Down low now, Chapman giving chase. Has to fend off Bratton, who ends up getting the better of him. And Arkansas loses control of the puck at center ice in the skates of the linesman. Stolen away, Arkansas chipped it back to center ice. Cruz after the puck, it's settled down there by Shipley. Far side now, chipped back into the neutral ice, and Arkansas steals it away, but they're going to be offside. Trying to hop off the ice was Cruz, and they got, got away with it. Cruz was standing in the zone, hopped onto the bench, and they don't blow it dead. Hershey fires a tough angled shot, hit the water bottle, but doesn't find its way into the net. Picked up here by Arkansas, far side, trying to hold it in the zone. Arkansas with a ton of pressure. That came out of the zone. Another benefit of no call for Arkansas. Yance to the far side, it's chipped away and out of the zone. Arkansas twice was offside on that shift and almost got away with it. Outlet pass, near side, Gifford. Bats one along, looking for lots. Shut down there by the Patriots. Lifted high into the zone, picked up here by DBU, and that one does go out of play. 17.25 to go, second period, and wow, Arkansas is off to a hot start. Yeah, you mentioned urgency, and I think that's the right word. Intensity as well. But really haven't gotten uh, anything to show for it so far. They're going to have to keep it up. They really dominated on offense in that first period as well, but the scoreboard's the one that matters, and so far they trail by two. Lots to take the face off. It's one to the side. Gifford not able to control it, though. Arkansas on it near side now. This one's batted ahead by Canavan and stopped down by Gifford. Gifford in the hip pocket of his man. Comes up the near side boards. Arkansas on the puck again. Lots stopping move in the corner. Gets around one man, now two. Now down into the corner. Leaves the puck there for Edistrand. Edistrand makes a stopping move as well. Just bats one to the near side. Picked up here by Yance. Yance hard around the boards. Comes shuffling along. Arkansas looking for the puck. And it does break out of the zone. Back on retreat is Book. Book on the puck again. Far side looking for Edistrand. Misses his stick. Arkansas settles it down in their own zone. No icing here, 16.49 to go, second period. Still three to one, Patriots lead. They have yet to record a shot this period. Comes up the near side though, Lots, Lots. Outlet pass finds Edistrand, into the zone, fires a shot, easy glove save. All the way into the glove for Miller, 16.36 in the second. Yeah, DBU's really gotta do him uh, some favors here. Miller's looked good, but you can't keep facing shots like that and not expect one or two to go in. So they're going to have to turn up the intensity on offense themselves and not just sit back and let Arkansas get shots at will. They 
faceoff tied up and one back here by Arkansas. McAtee near side Odeline, their top pairing on the ice. Backdoor pass and wrong-handed stick is Scherer. Had to toss the skate out there. This one high into the air and up on the break now is Barrett. Barrett gets up into there. Nice job on the back check and save down there by Haynes. A great job on the back check there by Ethan Motor, able to slow down the play. Yeah, good hustle by Barrett. Really tried to beat that out and I thought he was going to be able to, but the good back check slows that up. But DBU will get an offensive zone faceoff for it, a rare one. And let's see if they can fare better in the faceoff dot here in the second period. Motor, Borless on the ice. Borless trying to power it out of the zone and does. It's whipped back on goal. Haynes just going to lay it off here for McAtee. Trusts his man there. It's easy to be trustworthy when you're a three-time first-team All-American. This one comes up and punching the helmet off of his man was share as he was batting at the puck. He's back down the ice. Odeline chops at it far side now. Finds McAtee. McAtee lost it into skates for a second. Share plays it ahead. Share on side. Barrett after it in the corner. Barrett turns it over. Arkansas on the puck in the corner. Borless back to the point. Has McAtee. McAtee asking for it. Fires a low shot. Rebound out front off the post. Borless rings one off the doorbell there and Arkansas is not able to capitalize. Barrett can't come away with it, and Arkansas will go for a change. Scherer off the ice, on the ice is Sugasawara. Borless turning move in front, looking for his man, just threw a blind pass, another shot high by Hershey. Picked up here by McLean. McLean settles it down, stick handling in the corner, a tired DBU Patriots team out there right now. Sugasawara on it, Arkansas with their top line, looking for the back post pass, tries to force one through, that was Sugasawara, and it comes all the way down for an icing, and this tired line stays on. Yeah, I think that's going to be a big deal for them as well. They have the long change, and Arkansas has the fresh legs in their top line out there. Not to mention Trevor McLean is just an absolute nuisance in the offensive zone. Yeah, that's why he's such a good penalty killer, and he can translate that to five-on-five -five offense. One, one back by Arkansas again. Sugasawara on the puck. Boy, they look like they're on the power play right now. As Wilson centers it out front. Sugasawara buries it. And Arkansas makes the proximate goal happen. 3-2 to two with 5.03 gone in the second. Griffin, Sugasawara. You know it's just a matter of time before that puck finds the back of the net. Nothing against Randy Miller, but Arkansas, 26 shots so far. Six here in the second period in the first five minutes to DBU's one. And like I said a few minutes ago, the, the Patriots, the offense and the defense, they can't do that to their goaltender. They got to turn it up a little bit and get him some help. Wilson with the setup on that one, and Arkansas's in business. Hershey fires a quick shot wide of the net, and you can see the change in energy from this Arkansas Razorbacks team. Backhand pass out front, Sugasawara looking for it there, and it comes all the way back out of the zone. After it, there's Rogers. Rogers has his D partner, Hershey. Opts to bank one off the far side. Turning move there, Sugasawara. Into the neutral zone, Canavan trying to settle it down. He gets pressured. Here comes Arkansas, toe drag move, and another one as Arkansas does come away with it. Four on one down low, shot scored! And they tie it up! Wilson from Sugasawara. 5.37 gone in the second, and your horns are on the move. And this crowd has come alive as Arkansas finds a way to tie this game up. The intensity from coming out of that first intermission as we get our second hog call in the last uh, about a minute and a half. And we got a tie game. Excellent pressure from the Razorbacks. And Arkansas ties it up. Three to three. A dog fight here at the Jones Center. Center ice now. The hot top line stays on. They've got two goals already on this shift. Near side now, Hershey looking for the puck. McLean bats one along looking for Hershey. Hershey trying to get it out of the zone. Hershey in a new position this year. We talked about it earlier. Don't know if it's cost the Hogs any of these three goals just yet. But Arkansas definitely struggling on the defensive end. Sugasawara knocks it away down the ice. Back the other way, trying to work it along as Bratton near side. Big hit laid on there by Sugasawara. Centering pass, makes the man miss, and Miller just diving after it, able to make the save. Another centering pass, looking for his man. Barrett can't clear the zone. 
Now Arkansas on it. Now Beckett on it. Beckett has Barrett trailing. Two on two into the zone. Beckett shots blocked down there by Yachts. Searing pass up front. Shut down by Haynes. Puck still loose and Arkansas comes away with it. Hershey near side now. 13.28 to go in the second period. And Arkansas settles it down. Backhand back to center ice. Arkansas trying to work it into the zone. Onside there is Beckett. And that's going to be a penalty. A big trip there by Yachts, I believe, coming across. And Arkansas goes back on the power play, or pa penalty kill, I should say. I think that's going to be Yance. Yeah, this I thought it might have been McLean, but dangerous play. Stuck the leg out. Luckily, didn't get too much of him, but just enough to trip him up. And once again, Arkansas is going to go on the penalty kill. DBU scored their first goal of the night on the power play. Yeah, Canavan unassisted. Uh, the ensuing power play that DBU had four seconds later, they got a penalty of their own. Let's see if they can uh, do a little bit better on this one. Fada to take the face off to the right of Haynes. Ellis to take it with him. This one's won by Fada. Arkansas back to the blue line. They're going to blow it offside. Just past the line. That one trickled over. 13-11 to go in the second. Yance in the penalty box for a minute 54 more. Well, two quick goals from Arkansas here in this period. And they have looked like the better team, but now they are starting to put up the notches to prove it. Fowler on it now to see if DBU can capitalize. Arkansas stolen away. Here's McAtee into the zone. Fires a low shot. Shut down by Miller. It takes an excellent opportunity. Centering pass, and oh, just couldn't settle it down. Hit the tape weird. Back the other way, four on two. Here comes DBU offensive zone. They're going to blow it dead for an offside. I don't think that was correct. Michael Fada was into the zone just ahead, along with Brock Mankin. Tough break for the Patriots. Cam McAtee got caught in front of the net. That centering pass, a nice pass, bounced right off of his stick. Would have been a good opportunity, but left him trailing the play, and DBU had a chance for an odd man rush, but just ahead of the play, and they'll blow it dead. Perez to take the face off here against Arkansas's player. That was Edis Strand, and it's won back by Perez. On it now into the zone. That's Ross. He'll send it along the board. Settled down there by Haynes. Haynes leaves it for his man. Hard along the board. Settled down. Bratton in the corner now. Stick lifted, and Arkansas takes it away. That's McAtee. Three on two the other way. Three on three if they hustle. On the back check. Gifford in front. Nice stick handling through traffic. Shut down by Miller. Gifford on the puck again. Miller out of his net momentarily. 105 to go on the penalty. Back the other way now. Beckett. Beckett sticked off the puck momentarily. Now Barrett on it. Barrett into the offensive zone, down below the goal line and around the cage. Makes a stopping move back behind the cage. Leaves it here. This is going to be Barrett near side now. Back to the point. He's going to find his man, Rose. Rose looking near side. Settles it down in the corner, Perez. Perez along for Barrett. Barrett settling it down, looking far side. Has Beckett. Another pass back to the point. Bratton, and that Ooh. one goes off his boot. Getting a change as Gifford on the ice now is going to be Chapman. Edistrand switching spots so he can get a change here soon. Edistrand and Chapman on the ice, two young men, along with the veterans, McAtee and Odeline, and McAtee makes quick work of that. He'll come off. Hershey on the ice along with his D partner. It's going to be lots. Four check there by Chapman. Near side now, 12 seconds to go on the penalty. Back the other way, here comes Bratton. Bratton across the red line, loads up a slapper, and it goes out of play. 11.23 to go, second period of action, and Arkansas might kill this one off. Yeah, six seconds left, and they're going to have a guy come out of the box. If they can win this faceoff, uh, it's got to be something the Patriots are looking for. Face off to the left. Be one back here to Hershey. Hershey hard around the boards, far side. It's going to be picked up there by Fowler. Fowler throws one through traffic, saved there by Haynes. Rebound comes out front. The fight for it. Arkansas kills off the penalty, five on five. Hershey after it now, back behind the net. Arkansas looking to come away with it. Hershey still in a dog fight for it behind the net. Gets shoved off the puck there by DeShazer, and Arkansas comes away with it. Outlet pass finds Chapman, one on one into the zone. Chapman loads up a backhand shot, goes off the side of the net. Chapman on it again. Backhand pass back to the point, looking for Hershey. Through traffic, tipped wide. Oh, Lott's got a stick on it, and Borlas chases his man into the corner. A hard shoulder finds his man. 
Arkansas now. Rogers trying to work his way through traffic. Loses the puck. Picked up there by Borlas. Now Rogers. Rogers has Borlas. Throws a shot towards net. Kicked wide by the defenseman. Picked up here by Patterson. Patterson leaves one off there for Hershey. Borlas has control of it. Tries to slam one home. And I thought he tucked it home, but I think. Oh, he pulled oh, it, it out of the in. net. He that's pulled, that's a goal, goal for Arkansas. Trevor Borlas. Wow, he must have banked that off of the back of Randy Miller's leg. An impossible angle. Yeah, we were looking for the puck, and then we saw Randy Miller just pull it out of the net, and the ref saw it too, and he points to it as Arkansas scores three unanswered goals here in the second period and now lead this game 4-1. to one. Excuse me, 4-3. to three. Three unanswered goals. The crowd's come alive. The Hogs have come alive. And boy, it's really taken the wind out of the sails of this DBU team. Had some uh, disconcerted effort on the Hog call earlier, but it seems like the crowd's gotten their act together. You would think in a 200 foot wide room, we could coordinate that effort. Arkansas gonna come come alive with the puck now. Share, Share trying to bat one along. Motor on the puck. Motor to Yance. Yance settles it down far side now. Book, Book out of the zone. Chips one towards Patterson who dumps one in on the boot now of Rose. Rose a turning move loses an edge and it's gonna be picked up here by Share and they're gonna call him for a trip. He wasn't near him. A bad angle from the referee and Arkansas is going to the box for a trip. Yeah, I don't think he got him there, but he did reach his stick out, and it, any kind of a bad angle by the referee might have really thought that even though it was obvious the Dallas Baptist player lost the edge, that it looked possibly like a trip. Well, from our angle, we were absolutely certain that he was a good foot and a half, two feet away from, from the down player, his stick was. Oh, an unfortunate error there. Turns into a break for DBU. DBU still trying to net a goal this period. Getting out scored three to nothing. This is a clearance attempt that's settled down by Canavan. Canavan at the blue line. Canavan settling it down now. He's gonna try to whip a shot through traffic. Good job by Haynes. Just stands tall, drops down to the butterfly, and gathers the puck. Yeah, good job holding on, not giving up the rebound there. Earlier on a rush, he did give up a couple rebounds in front, led to a scoring chance for the Patriots, but Good puck handling there. Face off will come to the left. Canavan on it. Canavan down low now looking for Barrett. Barrett's centering pass is stolen away and nice job by Patterson. Sends it down the ice. Just wide of goal. Miller settles it down, sends it near side boards. Can be settled down here by Barrett. Barrett on it, sends it back to Canavan. Canavan, the captain for DBU, is on the puck. 9.23 to go, second period. Canavan on it. Canavan still trying to make a decision. Finds Beckett near side, stolen away by Patterson. A good penalty kill here by Patterson on this shift, and this one's lifted end over end down the ice by Odeline. Patterson hard on the forecheck, right in the hip pocket as Patterson takes a spill into the boards. He gets right back up, and he's into the play. Near side now, it's going to be... Barrett, Barrett chips a pass along, quick shot there, is fired wide in the net, Perez not able to put one on. Bratton on the puck, Arkansas comes away with it and chips it back to center ice. Settled down there by Rose, Marley Rose on the puck. And this one's sent along, there's gonna be an off the puck whistle against DBU and Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas evens it up on the ice, four on four for 41 seconds, Fabian Perez to the box. For a trip. And on the four on four earlier, Arkansas looked to have the advantage, but they've looked to have the advantage five on five as well. But I think they really like playing on this smaller ice surface uh, with only four on four out there. So look for them to try to win this face off and really just keep that intensity up that they've come out with here in this second period. Uh, don't look now, DBU has liked it at four on four and the small ice as well tonight. This has allowed Fada some space to get two breakaway goals. Yep. McAtee on it, fires a shot there, blockered up and out of play. Nice save by Miller through the traffic. 8.35 to go, second period. Arkansas will have about a minute 20 
on the power play if they can kill off the rest of this time on the four on four. Not if they can, they will eventually end up with a minute 20 power play. McAtee to Wilson. Wilson, high circle, has a man far side, opts to take the shot instead, couldn't handle the puck there, was Miller, but leaves it there for his man, and a big hit in the corner. Gross not able to get Wilson off his back, and Wilson gets the better of him again. Gross loses the puck, picked up here, McLean near side now, McAtee. McAtee has a man in front, fires a shot, nice save by Miller. Good job keeping the arms low and right above the pad and able to make that save. He knows McAtee likes those low shots. Yeah, and good physical play behind the net by Captain Zach Wilson as well. Absorbed two hits, able to gain possession of that puck. Suga Sawara got it back to McAtee and a good, good shot before the good save by Miller. Ellis on the ice now with Suga Sawara, Wilson and McAtee. Ellis wearing the alternate captain as well this season. We got five of them. One captain, four alternates for Arkansas. Suga Sawara, back pass. They're on the power play now. Five on four, down low. Suga Sawara after it. Makes a little head fake. Controls the puck and gains some space. Suga Sawara, back to the point. McAtee, McAtee setting up the power play. Near side now finds Wilson. Has a man back post, opts for the shot. And this one's taken away by DBU. Good job by McAtee on the four check. And Arkansas takes it to the zone again. Wilson, back post pass. And that one goes clearly through the traffic. Ellis on it now. Ellis, far side, has Chapman. Chapman loads up a shot and fires high and wide. Arkansas on it now, 45 seconds to go on the penalty. To Fabian Perez. This one comes back to the point now. McAtee, nice stick handle, he moves, shoots and scores! My goodness, Dan McAtee undresses a man and puts one on the scoreboard. And Arkansas with their first two-goal lead of the night, Cam McAtee, the alternate captain, the All-American. That's an All-American type goal right Oh, there. absolutely. By my count, that was his ninth shot also, so he's definitely sprayed the net. Yeah, not bad for a, a defenseman. <laughs> and they weren't all shots from the point either. No, absolutely not. Well, Cam McAtee on the board here, and the Razorbacks with four unanswered in the long change period. To take the face off, one back here by five. Off the boards, and Arkansas able to take advantage of a bad stanch and bounces. Down goes Edistran, and there's a delayed penalty, and Arkansas is right back on the power play, and boy, quick over the boards are Sugasawara and Ellis. They want more. They are out for blood right now. Yeah, they're gonna send them back and uh, get a different unit out there, but. Yeah, DBU shooting themselves in the foot this period. Arkansas came out aggressive, and they haven't let up, and now a power play goal and a, another power play right after it. A good opportunity to extend this lead for the Hogs. Face off will come to the left of Miller. Fada to take it against Cruz for Arkansas. This one's tied up, and Arkansas wins it back. It's going to be picked up here. Quick shot, score! And a strand off the faceoff wow. from Kyle Cruz, 6-3. to three. Way to fight through that off the faceoff. Just being tied up and just an excellent shot. And Arkansas has opened the floodgates. Another power play goal. What a... Great job by Cruz to tie his man up. It looked like Fada was doing most of the tying up there, but a great job picking it out of there by Edistrand, and he notches his first career Arkansas Razorback goal. That's two guys tonight who've gotten on the board for the Hogs. And it's gotta make you feel good if you're Coach Sims right now. This second period is uh, just night and day different from these Razorbacks. Into the zone, Arkansas. After it into the neutral zone now. It's gonna be picked up here by the Hogs. Near side, Book with it, lays an easy pass off, looking for Lots, and he finds his man into the zone, Gifford. Gifford, hard around the boards, far side now. It's gonna be picked up by Lots. Lots shut down there by Bevers. Arkansas on top of the puck. Fowler after him in the corner, but a nice job by Edistrand, the most recent goal scorer. Lots on it, a little give and go play shut down by Fowler. Far side now, Arkansas holds the line. Boy, DBU looks like they've been run dog tired this period. Arkansas chopping the feet and coming away with it now is Bevers. Bevers off the boards, it's knocked off the putt, and Arkansas has it. 
Jantz on it now. Outlet pass, finds Edistrand. Edistrand chips one ahead, had a man in, going into the zone. That was Gifford. But they're going to go off for a change. Gifford will be the last one off for this line. Arkansas holds it. Arkansas in the zone. Borless, a little chip pass across, can't find Gifford. Arkansas shuts down the play again. Gifford, centering pass, can't find Cher. Gifford to the bench. On the ice now is going to be Motor. Arkansas on your side now, Yance. Yance behind the net. Borless out front, back to Motor. Motor loads one up, and a nice save by Miller. And we'll have a stoppage. 5.48 to go in the second. Yeah, we were singing Miller's praises a lot in that first period, and we should be here in the second period, although he's given up quite a few goals. He's faced a lot of shots, not getting a lot of help from the guys in front of him, but, uh, you know, he's still playing solid. He ma he's making a lot of good saves, not giving up a lot of rebounds, and Arkansas has really just brought it to this DBU team, and Miller's going to have to stand tough back there and hope the guys in front of him can pick it up as well. Here comes Beckett the other way. He's got Barrett streaking towards the net, and he just loses an edge. No call on this one. As no hog brought him down. Scherer on it though. He'll fire a shot towards net. Blocked down nicely there by Shipley. Scherer into the corner and pulled down there was Motor. Centering pass. Backhanded opportunity. Blocker to side. Rogers had a golden opportunity. And Miller shut it down. Barrett to Beckett. Beckett into the zone. Beckett. Backhanded to pass along, looking for Barrett. Barrett after it. He's got a head of steam past Hershey. Stick handles past one, but Hershey able to get the better of it. Here comes Truman Hershey. Pass Shipley. Hershey, high circle, fires a shot. Blocked down by Bratton, and it comes trickling towards the net where it's scooped up there by Miller and will have a stoppage. A three-goal lead for Arkansas, and after the way the first period went, you could not have told me that they would come out like that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And you know, I, I'm sure Sims, Coach Keller Sims' voice is a little hoarse from that first intermission, and uh, hopefully this second intermission he'll get to rest it a little bit as uh, as they look to go into that intermission with a, at least a three-goal lead. McAtee lays one off in the corner, picked up here by Sugasawara. Sugasawara, quick shot there, and that one's up and out of play. Well, Keller's getting escorted by the trainer. He's down below already. Hope everything's okay down there. That'll leave Coach Andrew Falls as the head bench coach. Along with, I believe that's Dakota Gottlieb as well, former Arkansas Razorbacks player. Quick check behind the net there. It's going to be picked up by McLean. Send along now. The shot from the point is going to be blocked down in front. Sugasuara on it now. Arkansas looks like they're on the power play, but they're not. It's five on five. Wilson, centering pass, broken up there by Rose. Rose's pass comes into the blue paint and having to cover that one up was Miller. 4.32 to go, second period. Faceoff will be to the left of Miller. Gonna be one back here, McAtee. Now to Cruz, Cruz to McAtee, fires one off the crossbar. High into the air, Odeline settles it down off the boards. Cruz after it, he upends his man. Near side now Ellis. Ellis, near side hash, back to the point. Odeline loads up a slapper, tipped in front there by Cruz. This one comes back up the boards. Arkansas trying to hold it in, and they do. Odeline off the boards hard, and now Canavan's after it in the corner. Stick lifted there by Chapman, and he's after it. Far side now, chips a pass along, finds McAtee. McAtee to the near side, looking for Odeline. McAtee. Can't find Odeline, goes right past him, and Rose picks it up for DBU. He whiffs on a pass. Arkansas still upping the pressure. Far side now, Canavan. Canavan outlet pass, can't get out of the zone. In front, Arkansas, little bit between the legs play. Arkansas can't score it, and another shot doesn't find its way through. Chapman can't score the easy opportunity. And he'll hold the line again. Arkansas buzzing and buzzing. A between the legs shot there, almost scored by Arkansas as McAtee spills one over to his man. Ellis along the boards, Cruz can't get to that one. Now near side, Yance. Yance just bats one along right to Cruz. Cruz on it now. Cruz just turns and fires one into the zone. An errant play by Cruz, and here comes Fowler the other way. Just chips one on net. Tried to glove that one was Baines. Arkansas trying to come away with it. Near side boards. Up the boards, here comes McAtee. 
Works his way all the way through traffic between the stick of one man, drops a pass off, and Ellis couldn't handle it. Yachts loses control. Three on one the other way. Here comes Fada. Fada looking for the hat trick. Fires a shot. Saved by Haynes. 2.53 to go in the second. And no, Arkansas didn't give him help on the back end. He was able to make the save. Yeah, three on one opportunity for the Patriots, but a good job. I think it was Edistrand who cut down the angle and forced that shot, and Haynes able to make the save and holds on to the rebound. Uh, that could have been a good break for the Patriots, but good defensive play and goaltender play by the Hogs. Well, when you're sitting on two goals already, I think he was going to take the shot no matter what. But good job by Haynes to shut that one down. And here comes Edestrand. He's got to break the other way. A man in his hip pocket, Shipley. He held him off, and a quick shot goes wide. Good hands there by the youngster, but not able to capitalize on the break. Edestrand on it. Edestrand, the stopping move in the corner, turns the puck towards the blue paint and picks it up again. On the outer hash, he's getting mashed along there. A couple of sticks come up high, no call. Picked up here, Arkansas in front. Gifford tries to dump one off of Miller. It worked once. Why wouldn't it work again? 2.25 to go in the second. Arkansas with a three-goal lead. Yeah, Arkansas has not let up this pressure that they started this second period with, and it's really given the DBU defenders fits, and Randy Miller just standing there hoping he can get some help out in front and uh you know dbu's gotten a couple chances this period namely that three on one but sam haynes has yet to give up a goal here in the second only six shots this period from dbu chipped onto the near side now yance on it yance fires a shot towards net stop down yance on it again Yance, far side of the ice, looking for his man. That's Patterson, and Patterson gets upended in the corner there by Bratton. Standing his ground is Bratton. Bratton can't come away with the puck. Cher looking for it now. Cher comes away with it, tries to bat it back to the point, but it's taken away here by Barrett. Barrett knocked off the puck momentarily. Bratton on it. Two Arkansas Razorbacks in the corner trying after it. Now Patterson. Patterson centering pass, gets past everybody. Near side now, Yance throws one towards that rebound there. Sear to side, a quick shot by Patterson. Save down. Near side now. Yance looking for it, and after it's going to be Barrett. Buddy Barrett into the corner. Barrett, Beckett, can't shut the play down, and Arkansas is on it. Borlas drops the pass off. That's Yance, a minute and a half to go here in the second. High, end over end shot down the ice. It's picked up there by Canavan. Canavan knocks it back to the neutral zone. Waiting there was Book. Book knocks it into the zone. Canavan again. Canavan tries to get one to the blue line. Can't. Here's Borlas in front and just missed the skate of Patterson, who tried to kick it to his stick. Now Beckett on it. Beckett just wheels one into the zone. Saved down there by Haynes. Yance on it. He's got Barrett on him. Fires one off the boot of Barrett and it goes out of play. 105 to go in the second period, and it's been all Arkansas on this one. Really not much to say. Yeah, it's it's been it's been tough going for the Patriots in Arkansas. Gonna continue to keep it up. They got their top line out there with Suga Sawara, Wilson, McLean. It's a dangerous group. Fada to take the face off against Suga Sawara. Suga Sawara wins this one back. It's picked up there by Hershey far side now. Wilson looking for the puck. Dumped into the zone there by DBU. We just crossed the one minute mark to go in this period. Arkansas with five unanswered goals. Centering pass, Suga Sawara break out far side. There's Wilson. Wilson into the zone with McLean. Wilson has McLean in the center, fires a shot. Instead goes through the blue paint, but doesn't hit anything. Wilson has a man in the corner. Ops for Suga Sawara in front, and it's stolen away here by Fada. Fada. With a two-on-one the other way, Fada on his backhand, couldn't load one up this time. Centering pass, comes to the near side, now Mankin. Mankin on the puck with 30 seconds to go in the period. Far side now Fada. Fada above the goal line, fires a low shot, shutting down the angles, Haynes, and Arkansas is off and running the other way. This is Wilson. Wilson on the puck, but just pushes one too far out ahead of him, and it's turned over. 15 seconds to go in the period. Arkansas on it again. Near side now McLean, banks one off the boards, down the ice. This one's going to go all the way down. And no icing's called. Canavan on it now. Five seconds to go in the period. Only bad things can happen, I would think. He tries to steer it out of the zone. Arkansas comes away with it, but not enough times on the clock. Five unanswered goals for your Arkansas Razorbacks, and the score has flipped. Yeah, tough period there for the Patriots. Arkansas came out firing. 
and took uh, a two-goal deficit into a three-goal lead heading here into this second intermission. Once again, dominating on the shots. Total 41 to just 14 for DBU. I think that puts us at 21 that period for Arkansas and just six for the Patriots. Well, Arkansas was clearly the better team in that period, and I mean, they came out with a whole new energy, Corey. It was exciting to see Arkansas, how we thought we'd see them come out in the first period, but good adjustments made by Keller in the locker room. Yeah, and I think they looked pretty good on offense the first period as well, putting up 20 shots. Just really couldn't get much past Randy Miller. And, uh, you know, for all the effort he's put in tonight, it's it's tough when you face that many shots to not give up a ton of goals. Uh, two of those were power play goals for the Hogs, which uh, just once again putting themselves behind the eight ball. And uh, DBU's got some work to do if they want to come out uh, this third period and try to get back into this game. They've shown they can score three goals in a period already, but they got to do it again while keeping Arkansas off the board, which may be tough to do if Arkansas comes out once again in the third period playing like they did here in the second. Well, 6-3 to three is your score. They get ready for the Whataburger Chuck-a-Puck on the far side, but we won't go anywhere as Arkansas leads 6-3. to three.
Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks lead by a score of 6-3. to three, A five-goal onslaught there and in that second period. Alongside me is Corey Porter, Rich Sanders, Matt Martins. My name's EJ Sanders. And Rich, go over that goal scoring for us. It's going to take a while. Well, Arkansas got five of them. 503 of the second period. Suga Sawara from Wilson. 34 seconds later, Suga Sawara and Hershey returned the favor to Wilson. The Tie the game at three. Borlase got a goal at 9.34, a tuck-in goal to make it four to three. And then at 12.39, a power play goal by McAtee on his ninth shot of the game on goal. And it goes in to make it five to three. And then uh, Edestrian from Cruz at 12.53. His was just 14 seconds later. Uh, the Razorbacks piled it up that period. Uh, going back to Corey was right all along in the first period. Arkansas just kept the pressure on, kept the pressure on, but it was like watching a team with 360 total yards and a touchdown, but three turnovers to give up three touchdowns, and they were down three to one. Then in the second period, they started getting the, getting the points in the red zone, and now the Razorbacks have a six to three lead. Well, they can't let their foot off the gas. They allowed three goals in that first period. Corey, what does Arkansas need to do to close this one out? You know, come out with the same intensity they started that second period with. And uh, uh, really, even if they don't put up any more goals, I think that intensity will keep DBU out of the uh, the Razorbacks defensive zone and for DBU they just got to try to match that intensity and take it a step further uh, for Arkansas so it's like you got to get three goals at least they scored three goals in that first period they're definitely capable of doing it but uh, Arkansas uh, they got to keep Arkansas off the board which is going to be tough to do but I think they can do it they got a good goaltender in that Randy Miller and uh, they're going to have to rely on him a little bit but hopefully they try to at least get a little bit closer in the shots. Arkansas leads that category 41-14 to 14 right now, and that's not going to get it done uh, for this Patriots team. So they've definitely got their work cut out for them, but I think they're up to the task. Well, 20 minutes go on the clock, and Arkansas gets ready for puck drop here in this third period. Arkansas will start this period with Chapman on the ice, along with Ellis and Cruz. On the other side, they're going with their standard starters, Canavan on the back end, along with the centerman Perez and Beckett and Barrett. Arkansas will start Rogers and Hershey in this third period. Center ice face off, one back by Ellis. Rogers steers one quickly. Tic tac passing there back to Rogers. Up the boards on the near side and all the way down for an icing. Canavan wins the race. Well, it's the start DBU was probably looking for, a little bit of offensive zone time with their top line while they're fresh against Arkansas's not top line. Probably their second line. It was the second line they rolled out today. As Chapman takes the face off to Haynes' left. It's going to be one ahead here by Ellis. Ellis to Cruz now. Cruz into the offensive zone. Cruz fires a shot save there by Miller. Powering towards the net there is Ellis. Well, Randy Miller's been wearing that number one for DBU for a long time, Corey. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure what year he is in school, but I think he's played about five seasons, so this may be the last couple games we get to see of him. Quick face off, one back to the net. Miller able to steer it aside, takes another weird bounce into the center ice now into the offensive zone. Here comes Beckett. Beckett hit checked off the puck momentarily, gathers it in the corner, centering pass, steered up and out of play there by Arkansas. That was Connor Chapman. Well, we talked about the shift in focus for Arkansas there in that second period. They were chopping the feet and really just went right after that DBU top line. And as soon as they were out there for too long, it seemed like Arkansas was able to capitalize. Base off will be to the right. Going to carry that momentum here into this third period. Arkansas takes one away. Here comes Cruz. Cruz, a chip pass ahead after it there in the far side's chat. Chapman looking for the drop pass, has a man at the point. Ellis steers one into the corner now on his backhand forehand, tries to throw a blind pass to the point that's picked off easily. Rogers on it though for Arkansas on the back check. Good play there, but holding the line there is DBU. 
into the zone. Nice play there by Bratton. Arkansas comes away with it momentarily. A quick turnover by Rogers, but able to gather it's Hershey on the back end. Good D partner there by Hershey. Arkansas powers it ahead. Offensive zone, here comes Ellis. He's all alone in on the goaltender. Fires a tough angled shot, easy save there by Miller. Hershey on it now. Hershey looking for the centering pass. Fires a shot, stick the side and up into the glass, comes all the way down the ice, Arkansas on it again, Cruz, Cruz to Rogers, Rogers cross ice, easy pick off there, saw it the whole way was Fowler into the offensive zone, Arkansas shuts him down, McLean now near side, Arkansas getting their top line on the ice, and Ellis is gonna go for interference, he didn't see the man, he accidentally ran into him, and they're gonna blow it dead for an interference. That tough break for the Hawks, as Ellis is gonna sit down for two minutes, and. We'll bring the puck all the way back down in front of Sam Haynes and DBU with another opportunity here. Arkansas. One power play goal on the night so far. Arkansas giving up way too many chances on the power play tonight. Arkansas has been down a man more than they've been up one. Time to kill another one off. Going to get good work in tonight on the penalty kill. One back here, McAtee hard around the board. Takes a weird bounce and all the way down the ice. Suga Sawara won't give Chase hard. And he picked up by Canavan. Canavan on his forehand behind his own cage. Ten seconds of run off this power play already as he breaks out, loses control of the puck. Suga Sawara lurking there, waiting for a turnover opportunity. Arkansas pinching in on Canavan, who just dumps it into the zone. Odeline slaps one. Out front, a dangerous play there by Odeline, but Arkansas is able to steer it away. Towards the near side boards now, can't break it out of the zone just yet. McAtee tries to power one through, Sugasawara on it. Now McAtee back over. Arkansas on the near side, can't come away with it. Canavan, tough angled centering pass. Couldn't find the stick of Perez streaking to the net. Now Sugasawara just backhands one hard down the ice. No icing, of course. Arkansas killing off the penalty. 1-12 to go here. And the penalty to Ellis, 17.38 left in the period. Tough pass there, can't be handled, and Arkansas takes it back into the zone. McAtee around one man, has a man out front, tries to chip the pass in front. Wilson not able to knock it down out of the sky. Back the other way, into the zone, this is Fowler. Fowler on the puck, loses control of it, and Sugasawara just bats one back to center ice. Wilson tries to work his way around a man, but Rose shuts him down. Rose, a nice move around another man, and Odeline chases after it in the corner. 44 seconds to go, and the penalty. Down low, nobody home as McAtee tries to lay a check on, but misses. Odeline on it again. Almost whiffed on that one. Stopped down at the point, and DBU holds the line. Tired line out there for Arkansas. Tough angled shot off the post there by Fada. Fada on the puck again. Chip pass, finds his man, and Beckett's shot. Rattles off the boards to the near side now, chipped along by Rose. Rose on the puck. He gets leveled against the boards by Odeline. Stood up hard. And Odeline is fighting back there. Rose on the puck now. He makes a check behind the net. It's going to be picked up here by Beckett. Stick handles out front. Tough angle. Shut down again by Haynes. Batted along far side. That's going to be Sugasawara around one man. And into the offensive zone. Penalty is killed. Here's Sugasawara. Toe drag. Undresses a man but couldn't put it home. Trying to scramble back in net is Miller. Centering pass doesn't find the man. Lots dumps it into the zone. Sugasawara off for a change. Had an excellent effort there. Only three goals, I believe, away from 100 in his career for Arkansas. Be one of three players to reach that milestone. On it now is Rogers. Stolen away, Arkansas. Back to center ice now as Arkansas able to turn it away at the blue line and holds the line. Back behind the net now, Bratton. Bratton keeps a strong stick hand and is able to clear it out of the zone. All the way down the ice, no icing. Hershey on it. Hershey. Can't settle the puck down in time and tried to just whip a quick pass. And trickled over his stick, turned the puck over momentarily. On the puck now is Arkansas. Tried to gather it in, there's Gifford. Leaves it off here for Lots. Lots on the puck again, Lots. Around the boards, hits the blue paint, comes to the near side, now looking to the point. Rogers, quick shot off that. Goes on net, nice save there by Miller. Backhanded along, Hershey dumps it back into the zone. On the puck now, Shipley. Shipley trying to work it out of the zone. He gets checked there by Lotz, and now Rogers is in on the action. Arkansas trying to come away with the puck, and it's stolen away by DBU. Back the other way, offensive zone. DeShazer has a man back post, fires a shot instead. Goes well high in the net, and Arkansas picks it up. Arkansas corrals it, far side now, Gifford into the zone. Gifford trying to work his way past one, but Beckett shuts him down. Arkansas on it again. After the clearance, now Rodgers across red line, blue line, offensive zone. Arkansas trying to power after it. Off for a change there was Hershey, and Book is back to settle it down. 
Another dump in, gone awry there for Arkansas. Edistrand powering after the puck now. Edistrand on his forehand, leaves one here for Gifford. Gifford not able to come away with it. Back and forth action, getting stood up there at center ice. Bodies falling to the ice as Book sends one far side. Now near side finds Scher. Scher, offensive zone below the goal line. He's going to pick up the puck there. Scher, back to the point, finds Book. Quick pass across, has Jans. Jans throws one towards net, but it's blocked down in front by a defenseman. Arkansas on it again. That's going to be Scher. Scher trying to plug one home, can't quite do so. Now Book. Book loads up a shot, fires it wide of the net, looking for a tip in front. Another spinning shot there by Edistrand comes to the near side. Arkansas not making the most of their chances right now. Stick lift in the corner, Arkansas still with it. Edistrand on the wrong stick hand there, has to go after it, far side boards. Chipped along, picked up here by Perez. Perez after the puck now near side. He'll shuttle one along, finds a man near side and does clear the zone for the Patriots. 13.53 to go here in the period. Borless on the puck now as the Patriots come away with it. Center ice, Patterson knocks it back into the zone. Now Canavan after the puck. Canavan on it behind his own net, makes a stopping and turning move. Finds a man out the far side, but Arkansas shuts down the outlet pass as Ellis shuts it down. Yance gets stood up there, and he's tangled up on the play, but Arkansas takes it into the zone. Toe drag move shut down there by the Patriots, but Patterson comes away with it into the slot, tries a little between the legs, dangle, doesn't work. Back to the point, though, finds Yance. Yance looking for his man Patterson again, comes around the boards, finds Borlas. Below the goal line, now Patterson fires a shot, blocked down in front. Borlas on the puck, as Book. Ops to try to take it himself, can't get past all the DBU Patriots standing in the slot. Now on it against Borlas off the back of the net. Finds a DBU Patriot, that one comes off a face mask down the ice and here comes Beckett. Beckett gets up into it and that's gonna be offside. They're gonna blow it dead for an offside. Arkansas lucky they didn't get called for a knee to knee there. Yeah, quite the collision there. Looked like it could be dangerous. I thought they might have been taking someone to the box, but no penalty and uh, more importantly, no injuries on that collision. Well, Keller's still not on the bench for Arkansas. So I think he'll be out for the rest of this one. Hopefully everything is well with him. Coach Falls manning the bench for a six to three lead right now. As McAtee spins one into the zone. Far side now picked up there by Shipley. Shipley avoids the hip check of Chapman. Arkansas comes away with the puck. Far side boards now Chapman. Chapman backhand pass finds Ellis to the point. Odeline. Odeline. Shot to the corner. Picked up here by Chapman. Overruns the puck and it's going to be picked up by Rose for DBU. Outlet pass finds a stick of a man. Comes trickling down the ice. No icing. Odeline on it. Finds McAtee near side. McAtee. Hits the skate of a four-checking Patriot. Back pass, finds McAtee, settles it down, and he's got a head of steam. Here comes Cam McAtee, offensive zone, through traffic. Works his way around one, into the corner. McAtee still on it. McAtee, back pass, finds Ellis. Ellis, stopping move, loads up a shot, tipped in front. Chapman not able to put it on net. Chapman, bats a pass along, down below the goal line. That's Canavan. Canavan up into there. Arkansas comes away with it, a little spinorama movie that move there by Rodgers. Got me tongue-tied. Such a good spin. McAtee on it for Arkansas. McAtee around one, around another. Cruz can't handle it on the near side boards, and McAtee has to retreat. McAtee still trying to get off the ice as Rodgers is on. Hershey waiting to come on on the far side. As soon as this puck clears the line, McAtee still can't clear. As DBU turns it back into the zone, on the puck here, a nice stick handling move through traffic, trying to get his hat trick was Fata. Arkansas off the boards, and they'll send one back below the goal line. They'll send it back down the ice. Fowler settles it down, and McAtee finally gets off. Hershey onto the ice with his D partner, Rodgers. Near side boards, hard bank there. Rodgers cuts off the play. Mankin turns it back and turns it into the zone. Arkansas trying to come away with it. Fada after the puck, back pass, broken up by Fada momentarily, but Arkansas comes away with it. Hershey, bank pass, near side boards, pass Wilson down the ice, and that will be an icing. Yeah, take a breath. Long stretches of action here. It feels like this third period is just flying by, just 10.44 remaining. No goals from either team this period. Arkansas still holding on to that three-goal lead. That onslaught they had in the second period. 
really separated this game and DBU has not been able to climb back in thus far. Face off will be the left of Haynes. It's gonna be one back here right to Haynes and he'll cover it up. Well, we'll be bringing you action all season long here at the Jones Center. Corey Porter and I, Owen oh, Matt Martins, Rich Sanders. We'll have some other crew members as well. Going in from time to time. Wilson on the puck, centering pass, has McLean streaking to the net, back post looking for Sugasawara. Not able to find him. Another centering pass. Finds Wilson, takes a stick up high, no call. Wilson getting held. And he gets checked from behind, no call again. Wilson just getting battered. Tries to send it up the near side board to stick down, skated down there by Barrett. Now Hershey the other way for Arkansas. Boy, the action's really picked up here in the last minute. Arkansas centering pass, comes out front, shot, score! Sugasawara in the right place at the right time. That puck just spits out front. Sugasawara spits on that one as it goes in the net. Seven to three. And as Sugasawara gets his second goal of the evening, Arkansas, Arkansas takes a seven to three lead. And it looks like we'll get a goaltender change. Isaac Winkin. Didn't practice for another goaltender tonight, so hard to say. So I'm sorry if I butcher his name ahead of time, but Winnicamp, something like that. If you know, let me know. Yance, bank pass, finds Gifford in the corner. Centering pass there, can't find his man, and back the other way come the Patriots. I think they're going to spend the last 10 minutes just letting whatever happens, happens, and save Randy Miller's legs for tomorrow, at least some of them. Played 50 minutes in this one before getting run by the Razorbacks. Seven goals conceded. And 47 shots faced. It was uh, certainly a lot of effort he had to put out there. Centering pass out front. Arkansas tried to control it and just couldn't do it. It was Gifford. Arkansas knocks the puck down. It's going to be picked up here by Yance. Yance has book. Yance opts to take it himself. Yance loses control momentarily. Now Gifford. Gifford, book to the near side now. Stick handling move around one offensive zone. Book loads up a shot, fires it wide. Tyler Book. Can't hold the line. And he'll retreat. 8.55 to go in this game, presumably. So long as there's not a tie here. McAtee can't shuttle it along, and back the other way comes DeShazer. DeShazer on his backhand, stood up in the corner. A huge hit there. After it now is Patterson in the hip pocket of Bratton. Bratton, far side pass, Canavan. Canavan hard off the board, settled down by Odeline. Odeline sends it back into the zone, and Arkansas continues the pressure. Near side boards now, Arkansas looking to take it away. Banked hard off the boards, Motor knocks one along. We picked up here behind the net by DBU. Bank pass, finds Bratton, he'll settle it down. High into the air, Odeline on it. Odeline turning move, just bats one towards the offensive zone, and here comes Motor. Ethan Motor on the puck, tries a stick handling move, whiffed on the puck, almost got it back, comes up to the near side now, Fada on it, Fada outlet pass, finds his man into the zone, that's gonna be Mankin. Mankin stick lifted off the puck there by McAtee. A big hit at center ice. Near side now, McAtee's going to control the puck into the offensive zone. McAtee fires a shot and scores. He's so good at turning his head away from the net, just momentarily throws Miller off looking for a pass and then just slots one home. Yeah, I said it earlier, he's a true two-way player, plays excellent defense, and he'll take it coast to coast. He's got a great wrist shot. He'll take it in deep in the offensive zone, and... Uh, He's a great player for Arkansas and, and surely will be missed, but we'll uh, enjoy at least one more season of McAtee being out on the ice for the Hogs. Well, I believe that was the first official shot that Wincamp faced. Don't think he saw it. Far side now. 
Hershey up the boards, finds Chapman. Chapman backhanded into the zone. Arkansas after it, seven and a half to go. Feels like a formality at this point. Out front, Chapman shot saved down there. Nice job by Winkamp. Arkansas on it again. Cruz loads one up, and that was blocked down in front. Nice job again by Perez. Arkansas bank pass to the point, finds Rodgers. Arkansas still hungry for more goals. Not satisfied with their effort in the first period. Really want to put it on. You got to feel like running a goaltender is a good thing, but back the other way. Here comes Beckett. Centering pass to Barrett out front. Tries to tuck one home. Saved by Haynes. Shut him down. Get him out of here. Get them out of here. What a save by Haynes. Stretching out. That hurt my hamstring. 6.47 to go, third period. Near side now, Rodgers. Rodgers, across the blue line, drop pass instead to Cruz. Cruz to Hershey. He's got Barrett on him. High stick there. Little friendly hug there from Rodgers. Six and a half to go in the third. Yeah, and I think they're gonna bring this one down to the other end of the ice for the high stick. Just outside the DBU zone. Well, we'll be back again tomorrow for a 3.15 start with DBU. We'll run it back, another effort for the Patriots try and get their first win against the Razorbacks, barring a five-goal comeback tonight. The result does hold. They'll be 0-17 against the Hogs all time. Whistle blows as the net comes off its mooring. 6-10 to go in the third. But looking ahead, Arkansas schedule doesn't quite get any easier. After this weekend, they got to take on Missouri the following weekend, that'll be next weekend, before going on the road in a tough test at Nebraska. Back to the point now, Yant sends one along, has McLean, McLean centering pass, left there, now Sugusawar out front, shots blocked down before it could get to the net by Canavan. Veteran presence in front of the net, John Canavan. Far side now, that's Wilson. Wilson chips one through traffic, looking for Sugusawar. Boy, they're really trying to feed him. I believe he sits on 97 or 98 goals. Did score one earlier tonight. Centering pass there. Sugasawara fires a shot saved there by Winkamp. Near side now. Sugasawara gloves it down high slot. Looking for another shot. It's poked away. And back the other direction come the Patriots. Beckett over to Barrett. It's knocked down though. And on the puck now is Bratton. Bratton stolen off his stick. Here comes Sugusuaro on the break. Tried to tuck one five hole. But holding strong is Winkamp. 5.13 to go in the period. Another turning shot saved there by Winkamp. 5.08 to go. A good effort from Sugusuaro. And you can tell they're trying to get him the puck. Yeah, he's trying to get that hat trick. And I'm not sure if he's aware he's just short of 100 goals. I do believe it does sit at 98. So that'll be a cool feat for Sugusuaro. Kind of hoping we have time to update that for tomorrow's game so that we can properly celebrate it if it were to happen. Around the boards, it's not if, it's when with that guy. Sure. When you're at 98 goals with this many games left in the season, that means you're probably averaging about 30 a year. That's about what he does. Gifford can't hold on to the puck. Sugasuar on it again. Out the pass, can't find his man. On the puck now, Shipley. Shipley near side. Up in the air is McAtee to glove that one down into the zone. 4.36 to go in the period. That one's up and out of play. McAtee with two goals as well. Yep, he's working for that third. Good defensive play to get in the way of that one. This play's not conducive for hat tricks. Much more conducive for, I guess, chuck-a-puck tricks. We really have anything we can get over this net. Out of the zone, into the offensive zone to Shazer on the puck. To Shazer, throws one towards that rebound there, scored. And that's a hat trick in itself. Michael Fata. Notches yeah, just, the fourth goal 
for DBU. Just following that one up, a good shot from an angle, and Haynes just kicked that rebound right out in front. Can't do that, but Fada in a great spot, able to find the back of the net, gets his third goal of the night. And perhaps, perhaps uh, something to look forward to tomorrow as these teams do rematch at 315. So if you're not into football, you don't want to watch the uh, Hogs take on Alabama, you should come check out some hockey. Well, we're going to see how much work this computer can do tomorrow that we're streaming from. Arkansas on the puck. Rogers, far side, Hershey now has got motor. Corey and I, both football fans, I certainly going to be trying to keep track of the game. Near side now, it's going to be picked up here by Fada. He's been a bright spot in an otherwise silent offense from DBU tonight. I mean, they have four goals, but three of those from Fada. Able to find the back of the net when he can. Near side now. I believe the linesman's down. Hope he's all right. Go over the schedule one more time here. What sticks out to you, Corey? Uh, yeah, got next weekend, Missouri. Nebraska's going to be a tough test on the road, a Sunday game against North Texas. But then they go to the Route 66 Showcase, which they won last year. Played uh, Miami in that first game. Miami really gave them uh, fits, and I think they played twice uh, at yeah. the showcase last year. And uh, one game, but I think it was a one-goal game, and really the closest game that Arkansas had in yeah. that tournament. But looking them, to them defend in, that title. Them in New Mexico. New, New Mexico, Mexico was, as well was excellent as well. There's some good teams that show up to those showcases, and I think it'll really show off how good this Arkansas team is again. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully they get some wins up there. We had a great time up there last year. Might make the trip again this year. It's going to be picked up here. Off the boards, near side now as Bratton sends one back to center ice. Hershey shuffles a pass long. Arkansas looking for the puck. Back to neutral ice, that's Canavan. Canavan stood up there and knocked into the zone there by Beckett. After the puck now. It's going to be picked up here behind the net by Rogers. Rogers works it along. Offensive zone now. Rogers tried to leave the puck there, but a miscommunication. On it now is Motor. Motor almost lost it and almost a break the other way, but Rogers throws one towards the net. Nice save there by Camp And a quick shot scored by Sharer. <laughs> Off the rebound. You just can't leave rebounds for Arkansas. They'll gobble them up. They're goober gobblers. Good initial save by Winnicamp, but... They're gobbling goobers out there. <laughs> the freshman goaltender uh, have a, has a little bit of work to do to try to control those rebounds, but that's why he's out there right now with this game well out of hand, trying to get in uh, some work, because hopefully they uh, have somebody for the future. Randy Miller probably moving on after this year, and they got two freshman goaltenders backing him up, so any work you can get him, even in a game like this, is uh, going to be beneficial. Trying to find anybody. They had two freshman goaltenders last year as well. Centering pass, backing up Miller. Cruz now near side. It'll be big boots to fill once Miller's gone. Chapman to Cruz. Nine to four, Arkansas in the lead. Arkansas in a similar situation with goaltending though. Haynes has performed all right tonight. Centering pass out front, not able to control that one. I'm sure he'd like to see a smaller number on the scoreboard, but overall, a win's a win. Behind the net now, Arkansas on it. Ellis on the puck now, looking to work it out of the zone. Ellis, soccers it along, gets away from him a little bit. It's knocked back the other direction. Arkansas regroups, Yance on it, settles it down, gets shut down though, and into the zone. Quick shot there by Rose. Rose on the puck again. Good job by Yance to take it away. Yance up to Chapman, has a man streaking ahead, but just blew an edge. Chapman had Ellis streaking out of the zone and was about to load up a pass and couldn't find it. Cruz near side, he'll lose control of the puck, and that comes down for an icing. 
And a tired Arkansas Razorbacks line will stay out there. 147 to go in the period. Winnicamp, thank you so much, Wayne. Pronounced Winnicamp. We'll make sure to get it right from now on. That was my, uh, not my first intuition, so I'm glad to be corrected. 147 to go, third period. Picked up here by McAtee. McAtee looking to back, backhand one along. It's picked up there by Chapman. Chapman to McAtee. It's knocked down. Now to Chapman. Into the zone. McAtee banked off the boards. Ellis after it. It's going to be picked up behind the net by Braden. A minute and a half to go in this game. Nine to four. This is an onslaught of goals from Arkansas. Outscoring DBU eight to one. Since the first period, might be eight to two if they can't control this. On the puck again. Boy, is this skilled Fada. On it, though, is McAtee. McAtee, drop pass, has Chapman. Chapman back to McAtee, couldn't find him in front. Cruz was tapping the stick, wanted the puck. Cruz on it again. Cruz slaps one hard off the boards, far side, goes for a change. Wilson on the ice, Sugasawara gonna come on. A couple of guys looking for a hat trick. Sugasawara and McAtee, here comes Sugasawara into the zone, tries to blow past him, couldn't get it to the backhand. Job by Winnicamp shutting that chance down. McAtee, Odeline. Odeline hard around the boards. Wilson. Wilson. On the puck. 33 seconds to go. McAtee on it again. McAtee to Wilson. Looking for Sugasawara out in front. And that one goes out of play. 25 seconds to go in this third period. Only one hat trick on the ice, and it's not a Razorback. Yeah, they got two guys knocking on the doorstep. McAtee looks like he's going to head to the bench, but Sugasawara. Stay out there. You know they're going to try to get him one extra one. We've come, oh. a, we've come a long way since McAtee broke his stick on the on the post yeah. in this game. Boy, that seemed to be a turning point. 23 seconds to go. Round the boards. Rogers far side now. Tries to settle it down. Sent back down along the boards. Picked up here by McLean. McLean backhand. Turns the puck over. That's going to shut down any chances, I think, for Sugasawara to get his hattie. Into the zone now, that's Beckett. Beckett down below the net looking for Barrett. Barrett far side, they just look gassed right now. Looking to close this one out. A quick shot there, saved aside by Haynes. One last save and a win for the Arkansas Razorbacks. A scary start to this game, but Arkansas able to recover and they rebound with eight of nine to end the game. Well, Corey, it was a good showing in the second and third period from the Hogs. We hope Keller's okay, of course. Not certain what happened to him, and hopefully we'll have an update on him tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. clo closing out the game without your coach on the bench, great job by these Razorbacks tonight. Yeah, for sure. And, of course, they're in good hands with, with Andrew Falls behind the bench as well and a, a really good effort from the Hogs aside from that first period. A good job really coming out in that second period. Uh, all cylinders firing on offense, aggressive, uh, a lot of intensity and it really led to that win as they took that 6-3 to three lead into that second intermission and just piled it on from there heading into the third. Well, Arkansas was able to notch a few more goals there in that third period. Rich? It was Suga Sawara, McAtee and Cher. Uh, Fada got his Hat trick. I'm trying to figure out how uh, he got out of our recruiting reach there. We do reach <laughs> Texas and Little Elm, te Texas is part of our recruiting area, and uh, I, I think that's one we just missed. Well, Michael Fada opted to go to Dallas Baptist University, and they're certainly glad to have him. He was an excellent player, stood out on the ice tonight, made plays essentially by himself, only that one outlet pass to him. But elsewise, you could tell that he he was somebody that could really work the puck. But back to the Razorbacks, just another effort. Just another excellent effort from the Razorbacks tonight. And Sugasawara able to notch two goals. Uh, and he really was the standout player for Arkansas tonight. Yeah, another player, Cam McAtee. Uh, we mention his name all the time, All-American. Uh, used to be, it was a rookie of the year, his rookie year at Division One, And uh, he's just been a stalwart on this team. And two goals for him tonight as well. I got to throw in Matthew Edistrand. Yeah. Uh, 
I'd say he's probably the top freshman I saw out on the ice tonight. He's got a lot of skills. He's uh, probably my next favorite player after Suga Sawara. Sure, and, and he had a rough start. He had two penalties early uh, in this game and may have contributed to DBU taking the lead into that first intermission. But whatever happened, whatever Coach Sims said uh, in that first intermission really got the Hogs fired up, and they came out ready to play for the second and third, and it showed on the scoreboard. Yeah, and... <laughs> Sometimes it's the things that are left unsaid that may speak the loudest as well. So, Anyways, your final score here from the Jones Center is 9-4. to four. Your Arkansas Razorbacks take this one. They'll be back at it tomorrow at 315 for Corey Porter, Rich Sanders, and Matt Martz. My name's EJ Sanders. So long.